All right, welcome back. There have been uh, many attempts in the past to create an, an affordable mass market Linux machine for the masses. And I think one of the reasons why Windows users will not switch to a Linux-based desktop is the lack of an, of an affordable Linux machine for the masses. There have been attempts, and there is yet another attempt. And I'm not sure about this one either, but let's take a look. This is called the KDE Slimbook, and it is based running, it's running KDE Neon, somewhat of an unusual uh, pick for a machine that I think is targeting the computer masses. But let's scroll down to the specs. The specs aren't bad. You have either an i5 or an i7. Intel graphics, of course, starting at 4 gig up to 16 gigabytes of RAM starting with a 120 gigabyte SSD drive. The specs are fine. I think where something like this falls short is the pricing. So let's take a look at the pricing. Let's pretend I wanna buy one. Well, let's see. <clears throat> let's go with an i7 since that's the best one. So we'll choose that one. Four gigs of RAM is doable. I would go eight at the minimum. Uh, 120, gig, 20, 120 gigabyte SSD drive. Um, I suppose I could do that, but that's a bit low. Let's do at least 250. Okay, Wi-Fi and uh, English keyboard. Now, as you can see here, that is over a thousand euros. Let's see what that translates to dollars. Now that's over $1,100. Would I buy a Linux machine like this for over a thousand dollars? I have to be honest, I would not. Now this does not mean that the machine isn't any good. Um, it's good news, I think, for at least another attempt at a Linux-based machine. But for that kind of money, really you could buy probably two uh, very nice Windows laptops. Now it can be argued that uh, you'll have more privacy, um, no malware, well, less malware in a Linux machine. That's certainly true, and I would agree with that. But my guess is the masses are not going to care about that. They're gonna look at price first, since most of them really don't know much about a Linux machine. And this is new, so how reliable will it be in the long term? That remains to be seen. So there you have it, another attempt at an affordable, I don't know, Linux machine for the masses. Well, that's all I have for this one. I have a link uh, below for this, and don't forget there is a poll. I think I will end the poll at the end of February. And the poll is why Windows users cannot switch to Linux. In case you're wondering, I dual boot. I don't use Windows as much as I used to, but I prefer to dual boot, and that is simply my choice. That's all I have for this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you.